Hi, my name's Mike Bain, and I have the privilege of serving as the University of Nebraska's Vice President for Ag and Natural Resources and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's Harlan Vice Chancellor for the Institute of Ag and Natural Resources. In my job, I have the privilege of working with some of the most progressive farmers and ranchers on the High Plains. COVID-19 has changed our world in dramatic ways. The goal of this video series produced by the U.S. Livestock Genetics Export Organization is to share with you, partners around the globe, opportunities and advancements on how best to access latest technologies and advancements in U.S. livestock genetics. Thanks for your interest. We wish you well, and we hope that this video series adds value to your production systems. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Spangler, and I'm a quantitative geneticist in the Animal Science Department at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, Nebraska. As someone who's interested or potentially interested in sourcing U.S. germplasm, you may be wondering what makes U.S. dairy cattle germplasm superior? Well, from the 1960s to the early 2000s, there were U.S. dairy cattle breeds that made more than an 80% improvement in yield traits. And it's not just yield traits that have been under selection in the U.S. U.S. dairy cattle producers select genetically to change not only production traits, but also traits related to health, fertility, and things related to conformation or type. The predicted transmitting abilities or PTAs that are used to select superior genetics are made possible as a collaboration from the U.S. dairy cattle industry, academia, and of course the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Agricultural Research Service. And this collaboration is evident in the way the U.S. dairy cattle industry has made use of genomics. Genomic selection began in 2008 in the U.S. dairy cattle industry and in less than 10 years, more than 2 million dairy cattle animals had been genotyped. This information made possible a 50 to 100 percent increase in the rate of genetic change for production traits and a three to four-fold increase in the rate of genetic change for lowly heritable traits, things such as health and fertility. As a consequence, the U.S. dairy cattle industry remains a go-to source for germplasm and the tremendous investment made in the adoption of technology and the successful implementation of technology makes the United States the perfect place to source dairy cattle germplasm. As somebody who might be interested in securing U.S. germplasm, you may have questions about how to interpret genomics or how to interpret sire summaries. And fortunately, the scientists that work in collaboration with the U.S. dairy industry have made both of these things relatively simple and straightforward. Genomic information in the form of tens of thousands of DNA markers is seamlessly integrated with other sources of information such as pedigree or daughter records into genomic PTAs or genomic predicted transmitting abilities. And in fact, in 2017, the U.S. dairy industry crossed an important threshold of having genotype more than two million animals. And that wealth of data continues to grow daily. This wealth of data has enabled faster genetic change by increasing the reliability of PTAs whilst dramatically decreasing the generation interval. In example, historically, the average age of a bull when he produced offspring was seven years of age that has been reduced dramatically to only two and a half years of age. And that's because of the benefit of genomic information. In fact, the dairy industry has been considered the poster child for the adoption and implementation of genomic selection. And it's not just yield traits that benefit from this increased information. It's also traits that deal with health, feed efficiency, and fertility. These PTAs are combined into economic indices, some indices which focus only on feed efficiency or health or things that deal with fertility. But there are also more comprehensive indices that focus on all measurements that relate to profitability. Some may know them as the total production index or the Jersey production index or the net merit index. So regardless of the trait complex that you wish to improve 
or if you wish to take a comprehensive economic-based approach, there are genetic selection tools that enable you to do this. The U.S. dairy cattle industry is continuing to improve the reliability of the genetic selection tools used by producers and continuing to refine the economic indices that producers can utilize to make sure they increase profitability over the long term. The quality of U.S. dairy genetics is built on a commitment to the best animal health practices. Hi, I'm Kim Clark, University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension. The goal of health management programs is to ensure optimal care and well-being of dairy cattle and to reduce losses in productivity caused by disease and management errors. Health management programs are generally produced in cooperation with the herd veterinarian and dairy producers to meet performance and management goals. The structure of health management programs is unique to each farm, but is typically key to the scheduled veterinary herd visits that combine routine reproductive examinations, review of selected herd performance records, and decisions and actions related to specific herd management issues. Contributors to herd health include quality assurance programs. In the United States, we have the National Dairy Farm Program, which is a dairy quality assurance program. 98% of the United States milk supply is enrolled in this quality assurance program. This program overall has improved herd health. Antibiotic stewardship is practiced on many U.S. dairy farms. Animals receive antibiotics only when needed, and fewer animals are being treated for diseases and illnesses such as mastitis. Dairy farms are providing better cow comfort as well. Cow comfort includes appropriate resting spaces, looking at the width and length of the resting space for animals, and also the bedding materials contribute to better cow comfort. Protection from heat in the summer and cold in the winter. In the summer, this includes the use of fans, shades, and sprinkler systems. In the winter, this includes using wind protection, such as curtains in the barn, and adding additional bedding material to provide more warmth for the animals, including calves. Proper lighting and optimum stocking density also contribute to cow comfort. When too many animals are stocked in a barn, animals spend less time eating and lying down and more time standing. This reduces body condition score, reduces milk yield and quality, and increases incidences of lameness and other health conditions. Access to high quality feeds is also important to cow comfort. Nutritionists formulate rations to meet the growth and energy needs of each animal in each stage of growth and production. Human interactions with animals should be positive. Cows should be handled gently, quietly, and slowly. Feeding high quality feeds increases milk production and milk quality, contributes to better health of the animal with increased digestibility, ideal body condition scores, and reduce incidences of metabolic diseases. Dairy farms hire nutritionists to formulate rations to meet these growth and energy needs of each animal. And lastly, lameness is a major contributor to cow comfort. Good management practices can reduce lameness. This includes regularly scheduled hoof trimmings, the use of foot baths and sprays to reduce incidences of diseases, minimizing the amount of time standing on concrete surfaces, and the time of feed delivery and stocking density plays a critical role in the amount of time cows spend standing on concrete. The dairy technologies available in the United States are growing at a rapid pace for dairy producers. Have you thought about some of the latest technology available in the United States for dairy producers? Precision dairy farming benefits animals, dairy farmers, consumers, and the environment. The benefits to animals include reduced health issues through constant monitoring of body temperatures, rumination patterns, and activity levels. More focused feeding plans that provide animals with the precise amount of nutrients they need for growth and production. Efficient monitoring of milk yield, milk components, and body measurements. And lastly, increase comfort through adjustments in housing, handling, nutrition, and activity. Every farm has a common goal of becoming more sustainable. For dairy farmers, precision dairy farming provides the following benefits. Timelier, more informed decisions resulting in improved cow care and farm efficiencies, 
Automated and individualized record keeping of cows uh, allow us to monitor milk production, feed intake, and activity of each animal. Producers can also save time from the labor standpoint, and they can have a better quality of life. Examples of the latest technologies available in the United States include cow comfort and health, which contributes to overall herd health, for example, misting fans. In the heat of the summer, they cool the animal and the speed of the fans can be controlled based on the temperature and humidity outside. There are also thermostat controlled curtains. These automatic curtains keep cows comfortable throughout the winter. Cows thrive in cold air, so most farmers keep their barns between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. But when temperatures dip well below freezing, it's curtains to the rescue. Sustainability is also another important item for U.S. technology. The reality of dairy farming is that it often involves recycling. Animal manure is returned to fields, which allows nutrients to improve soil health and increase the nutritive value to plants. And so that sustainability is a continuous cycle from the animal to the field to the plants and back to the animal. There are also advancements in milking. Milk yield recording systems provide individual animal data, including the amount of milk produced at each milking, trends in daily milk production and milk components such as protein. Using this early detection information, dairy farmers can spot changes in animal routine that may be related to their health or changes in feed intake, giving employees an opportunity to detect issues that otherwise might not be apparent. There are also activity monitors. These can be neck collars or pedometers. So think of a Fitbit as an example. They monitor the activity of the animal, how much time they spend walking, how much time they spend standing, how much time they spend lying down, how often they are eating. And all of this information can be used to measure overall animal health. It can help detect when a cow is ready for breeding or going into labor so the farmer can provide timely assistance. There are also automated milking systems. Milking robots reduce the labor required to milk cows. But most importantly, these milking robots are for animal comfort, so cows can decide when they want to be milked. The computer-controlled equipment identifies the cow, sanitizes the udder, and gently collects the milk and releases the cow when done milking. From the calf standpoint, there's automatic calf feeders. Automatic calf feeders allow a calf to eat on demand as often and frequently as they need. With a computer's help, the farmer receives up to the minute information about each calf. Automatic feeders can help calves grow faster and stay healthier because of the precise diet delivery, which means farmers can spend more time observing and tending to calves' other needs. In a freestall barn, oftentimes there will be feed robots pushing up feed so cows continuously have a fresh supply of feed in front of them. From the genetic standpoint, genetics are really important, especially for large-scale producers and for producers with milking robots. Better teat placement is especially important for milking robots. Improvements in feed is also greatly important. We know that better health comes from high quality feed ingredients and high quality feed ingredients leads to better digestibility and overall animal health. All of these technologies equate to better managed dairy cattle. So when you buy United States Dairy Genetics, you're buying with confidence. I'm Kim Clark with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. For more information, visit the USLGE website or contact me directly. Thanks for watching.